big fan of romance and comedy in Telugu film. Uh, see, when I say romance, I mean movies like Aashiqui 2, yeah. or you know, or maybe Jab We Met. Jab We Met is see, it's a comedy. I mean, comedy nahi hai. It's a love story, but it is uh, so funny. How is it working with Sunil? He is dancing like a dream. I mean, I swear, I'm not saying it just because he's my hero. So, when was the first time that you met Viru Potla and? What was what were your discussions when he narrated the story to you? It was a do or die situation. Either you lose or you lose the project. <laughs> Did you have your share of fun or bad experiences? Actually, I got some ad in Malayalam, and that ad became popular. Through yeah. that ad, I got movies. Then slowly, slowly, everything. Comedy as a genre very easy for you to be part of. Or does it come easy? I'm always cracking jokes. I'm always laughing around, joking around. So for me, comedy comes naturally. Yes. But it's not like that. I want to do only comedy. But I don't know why I'm getting offered only comedy films. Hi, Richard. Hi, thanks Vindu. for being on the show, and uh, it's so good to see you after talking to you over the phone for so long. <laughs> yeah. I know it's been forever that we've been thinking of we meet, and <laughs> yeah, I'm also so happy to meet you because finally. Because of Eid Gold Day, hey, we. Get to catch up. Yeah. yeah so, uh, you're back in Telugu after a brief gap, you know. So, uh, do you feel the jitters of the release, or you? No. <laughs> are you? I don't know, but uh, maybe I'm just used to this release jitters. So this time around, I'm not actually feeling it. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm I'm quite cool this time. Yeah. But usually you're tense. I used to, but now I don't know why I'm quite fine. Huh. Is that because you're confident of the product? That could be. Could be. I don't know what is the reason. Maybe I'm confident about at least my work. See, because I have not seen the film right. myself, so I don't know the uh, how is the outcome. But maybe I'm confident about my work, or maybe I'm so used to this release thingy you now. I'm like, okay. Or maybe I'll feel it just one day before the release. Yeah. <laughs> Still, we have four days to go, so maybe I'll feel it just one day before. You know. Right. So, so uh, what do you do to deal with it? Eat chocolate. So. <laughs> I talk. I talk on phone with my friends. I think that's the best way, you know. You and because uh, I, I I have a lot of best friends, so I just talk to them. I'll tell them they'll be like, it's okay. I think this movie will give you the break. Don't worry. You're looking so good. You know, they'll just cheer me up. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, what do you play in the film? Because after watching the promo, it seems like a lot of fun, right? So yeah. I mean, in the film, I'm playing Sanjana's character. She is uh, like uh, a very modern girl, and uh, I'm playing a uh, supermodel in the movie. So you can just assume how modern the character would be. But I'm happy to play this modern character because pre in previously in my previous films I have played mostly Indian kind of uh, roles. So for this movie, first time I'm full movie, I'm wearing Western clothes. So I'm like ah, such a breather. Do you relate to the? character in real life as well or oh. is, is Sanjana someone else? No, like I don't not, relate. Not. I don't relate with her at all. Um, but I enjoyed playing it. I mean, you know, I feel it's a very good role and um, I thoroughly enjoyed playing it. But right. connection, I doubt. <laughs> right. So you once told that uh, you were a big fan of romance and comedy in Telugu films. Yeah. Did you think that this was the film that you were actually waiting for? <laughs> No, I can't say that. This is not the film I was waiting for. I uh, what you said, romance and, and comedy. Comedy, you, said, you always. Yeah, I mean, this is a comedy film, out and out comedy film. But uh, see, when I say romance, I mean movies like Aashiqui 2, okay. or you know, or maybe Jab We Met. Jab We Met is see, it's a comedy. I mean, comedy nahi hai. It's a love story, but it is uh, so funny. You know, like the characters are so funny. So those kind of movies I like. Uh, this is a nice film. I'm very happy to do it, but this is not my dream. Right. Dream film or dream role? I won't say that. Okay, mm. but are there any films in the south which you thought okay, I I should some at some point be. I mean, uh, like as you're saying, I was in a brief uh, gap yeah. in between. I did one film with Golden Star Ganesh in Canada. Yeah, his 25th film Buguri. Mm. So that film I really liked. Uh, work. That film was like a love story and. Uh, uh, I like playing those kind of. I, I like doing those kind of movies. You know, family films, family films uh, with 
romance, love story, college background. Mm -hmm. I like doing those kind of movies, you know. So right. I, that movie I, uh, is very close to my heart. Yeah. Right. So has your taste changed over the years? Taste has improved. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, changed, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How is it working with Sunil? He's also a amazing dancer. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He's oh god! I just uh, recently saw this uh, song Pili Kuduku title track, right. and he's dancing like a dream. I mean, I swear, I'm not saying it just because he's my hero. Yeah. I saw that, and I'm like, oh my god! Very few heroes can dance like this, and especially in that that song, you know, he's like dancing like amazingly. Right. So yeah, I'm a big fan of his dance and he's a very genuine human being as well, you know, like how he portrays a funny and comedy person, fun loving person on screen, off screen also he is same, very fun loving, jolly, down to earth. So what was the equation with Sunil and uh, Sushma on the set? Uh, with Sunil, I was like nice, friendly. With Shushma, Shushma became my very good friend. Chala chala manchi friends so we became and <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, because uh, the thing is that uh, we are shooting from January. Hmm. It's a long time, you know, January, this is October. Yeah. So we kept meeting in every schedule and you know, uh, we kept spending a lot of time because we were staying in the same hotel. Yeah. And so many times you don't have shoot, you're free. So I'll hang out with her or if, if we become so good friends, we'll just sit and chat for hours and hours, you know. So uh, I share a really, uh, I, I mean, we became good friends uh, by the end of the shoot. So when was the first time that you met Viru Potla and what, was, what were your discussions when he narrated the story to you? Uh, we met uh, around January. Okay. They were looking for this uh, role, uh, Sanjana's role and uh, they took my look test, though I have done movies previously, but they wanted a proper look test with dialogues and all that. Right. Because Viru Potlagaru wanted me to, uh, you know, act in different ways. Like he gave me one dialogue, he said, I want you to tell the same dialogue in different, different ways. Okay. I think he was just checking what my potential. What was dialogue? Don't ask me, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> it was some dialogue uh, he gave me, he said, you have to say this in... Uh, as many ways as you can, Richa. Right. I said, okay, sir. So I'm like, I tried as many ways I can. He said, oh, your acting is nice, but you need to work on it more and more. I'm like, okay, sir. Then he's like, uh, you have, you need to lose weight. That time I, I had put on weight somehow. Okay. I had put on like five kgs extra. <laughs> so he said, you have to get rid of this uh, because I'm playing a supermodel in the movie. Mm. So he said, because you're a supermodel in the movie, you have to, uh, you know, look like a supermodel. Okay, then I uh, he gave me 20 25 days time. He said, I'm giving you 20 25 days time, you have to lose weight. So, in 20 25 days, I think I lost 5 kgs and came back. Right, so you killed your laziness to actually yes. go to the gym because it was a do or die situation either you lose or you lose the project. <laughs> oh, okay, so you hadn't signed the no, project no, no, no. till you lost weight, is it? No, 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 they said you have to lose weight because it's a supermodel character, though there are no, not many sequences, there is just one ram show sequence. But even in that one ram show, you should look like a model, it shouldn't look like a koi, you know, like. I mean, you, know, you should it, because nowadays even commercial movies they want to show as real as possible. Yeah. So he wanted me to look the part. Right. So did you feel all that was worth it when you started shooting? Absolutely. Anyways, I was supposed to lose weight. That time I was in some family holiday, uh, so I had put on weight because you know once you go home, your mom, you know, she'll keep feeding you something or the other. So that that was the reason I put on weight. So what was the most memorable experience shooting for this film? Mm, I can't remember one because you know we all became like a group mm. and we all had like really nice time shooting throughout the uh, months but um, one it's very difficult to uh, find one incident right. very difficult, yeah. so you you were born in Lucknow and now you're based out of Mumbai right mm. so uh, does it feel fun living out of the suitcase or do you actually miss home uh, honestly, uh, I don't miss home so much. I do get homesick at times, but whenever I get homesick, I go home. Mm. I live with my parents like say for 5-6 days, one week. Mm. Then I'm again back to my... Because I feel we have come here for a career. Like Mumbai, is, it's not an easy place to live in. Yeah, it's so ocean, if, right? Yeah, so if you are living in Bombay, you have to be strong-headed. You have to be so passionate about your work that you can survive there for years and years, it's not easy. So um, maybe I'm too strong headed or I don't know, but uh, I don't miss my home much. Sometimes I have my low phases, I feel homesick, I miss, then I go, it's just a flight away, you know. Right. You can take a flight, go back, meet your parents, or sometimes I call them to Bombay, uh, we'll go for some family trip. 
so I uh, don't miss Lucknow so much. Yeah. Mm. Rita, how did your parents react when you said you wanted to get into acting? Mm, actually, um, when I was in 12th, mm. I took part in Miss Lucknow, Miss yeah. North India contest and I won those contests. So that was kind of booster because uh, she, Miss, Miss Shabana Azmi, she, Mrs. Shabana Azmi, she came and crowned me and that time she was a, uh, some sports, some minister she was. So it came all over the front page in all newspapers in Lucknow. Right. It was a big boost being just, you know, 16, 17 years old and yeah. so uh, I think that gave my parents kind of confidence that okay, like uh, I can maybe do something. But then uh, immediately, obviously, no parents will allow. Immediately after twelfth, you can't just go and start acting, modeling. Um, I belong to a little conservative family, and in fact, Lucknow itself is very conservative. So I thought, okay, let's join some something else. I joined airline. I thought once I'll join airline, I'll go for training. I'll go to Mumbai for training, and I'll be independent financially. And I'll get to see the world, you know, uh, because uh, Kingfisher um, yeah. was supposed to be going international. Yeah. So uh, that was a very good experience. Um, the purpose for which I joined the airline that got solved, you know, like uh, um, so. I'm very happy that I joined airline. I got some experience. I got some exposure. And by the time I moved from airline to industry, it was very smooth. Where mm. did you have your share of fun or bad experiences while being in the, you know, uh, industry? Uh, Air, airline, airline. airline. <laughs> actually, uh, uh, it, it is so much fun working with the airline, um, especially initial days because I was just out of school, fresh, yeah. and you know, I was like, oh my god, you know, I'm going to, you know, stay in five stars. I'm going to travel all over the world. This that I was very excited, mm -hmm. but obviously because it is a very monotonous job. Uh, after a period of time, you'll uh, be like, okay, I think I'm done, and I need some creativity in life. Especially me because I'm a Piscean and I'm very very creative since childhood. I'll you know do painting, I'll write poetry, and I've been a creative person uh, you know always. I was not a very very studious uh, kid. I was always towards art, you know, uh, music, you know, uh, towards all these things. So after sir, like I, I remember, I think after one one and a half year, I was like, I think this is uh, I should quit. And I should look for something else. I, I started thinking what next and how, because movies are something that you cannot just go and say, okay, I'm applying for it. It's yeah. not a job, you know. Yeah. So I was not able to figure out. But luckily, I got some ad in Malayalam, and that ad became popular. Through yeah. that ad, I got movies. Then slowly, slowly, everything fell in place. Right. So the journey has been interesting. You started with Malayalam mm. film, then you did a Telugu, mm. then you also mm. worked in Kannada, and now you're working in a Bollywood film. Yeah. So. Uh, how has the experience been so far? Uh, it's not as exciting as it might sound, I don't know. But was it a struggle? It was. It was a lot of struggle, I would say. I mean, see, I was always working. I mean, I, I don't, I, I think there, are, there were very few months in all these years when I was not working or I was out of work. Right. But still, it was not what I wanted to do. I still have, uh, you know, I have high dreams for, high hopes for myself. I see myself, you know, in bigger league, in better movies. So, I, st I'm st I would say struggle in a way. But yes, I was always working, so it was keeping me occupied. But still, I, I I would say struggle because I feel until you are successful, you are struggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, is there one incident that you very uh, clearly remember, you know, one incident during your struggle that actually moved the change? Uh, actually, uh, initially I was doing up down from Delhi. Okay. Delhi, I, ha I have my own house. So, it was very easy. It was like a cakewalk. You have your own house. You are yeah. just going from Delhi to south and coming back, earning money, you know. It was very easy. Uh, one, uh, two years back when I shifted to Bombay, the actual struggle started from there because living, that's why I am saying that living in Bombay Bomb is not so easy. Yeah. When you are in Delhi, your bro my brother was there, family, Delhi, Lucknow is very near, they will keep coming. I did, never felt I am a heroine, I never felt I am working in some film industry. Mm -hmm. They kept me so grounded, you know, always at home, sur surrounded by family, I have so many relatives in Delhi. Bombay is the place where I felt now I am I am in on my toes, you know, because there is no one like I don't know anyone in Bombay, no relative, no friend. I just went there, I found a place, I shifted, and from there I feel from two years back I feel that actual uh, I took my career seriously two years back. That's what I feel. Right. Mm. So uh, looking back, what's the best thing that that's happened to you? 
uh, I think uh, I uh, my shift from air, air hostess to actress, I would say that is the best thing because if I was an air hostess, I would have killed myself because though <laughs> it's a nice job, but I am a creative person and I cannot uh, do a job just for money. Even mm. now, I don't sign movies just for money. So, you know, doing a job just for money and that also peanuts, like, you know, I mean, how much uh, air hostesses will earn. So, if I would be doing and I would have been like, uh, suppose if I didn't get that ad or I didn't get a movie offer, my life would have been hell, I feel. So, I am very happy that I made that, I was lucky enough to, you know, make, uh, because I have seen like, uh, because I worked in an airline for quite some time. so. All of them, they are always discussing what to do next. All, uh, most of 90% of the girls, they will be just thinking, uh, uh, we should quit this and do something else. We should quit this and do something else. Some will do MBA, some will do become something, something. So, I feel okay. I think it was a smart switch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. So, uh, coming back to your film, uh, what has, what is that one thing that you learned from Sunil? Um... He told me one thing, one day, I think we were dancing, you know, he's a very good dancer. So, uh, it was a bit difficult for me to match up to his level. So, but I was trying, but he suggested me in between when we were shooting for song, he suggested me that I should do a crash course in some classical dance. Mm -hmm. uh, just one month, two month crash course. He said it will increase your memory power, it will increase your uh, flexibility, something, something he said. So, I, I, I told him, okay, uh, definitely whenever I will get a longer break. I am definitely going to take up this uh, classical thing, crash course because even I want to learn classical because uh, I feel being uh, an Indian you should definitely know the dance form of your country, right. I feel so. So yeah. did you already learn or did you start learning? Not yet, he told me just uh, like last month I think and I am waiting for that one, two month crash course because uh, I can't do this, okay, I'll do one day, then again next next month, one day, two day. You know, when you're doing a course, it should be at a time, at least one month at a stretch. Mm -hmm. So, if I'll get that long break, I'll definitely take up. And actually, childhood days, uh, I learned Kathak for a very brief period, like say six months I learned. Mm -hmm. But it is too less, you know. And that too, they were teaching me like basics, very basics. Okay. And this time, this crash course, I'm planning professional level. So, what are the lessons that you got from Viru Potla? Okay, Viru sir is like, well, I feel he's one of the finest directors we have and you know, um, I mean, uh, he is a very good actor himself. So, best part is that, uh, because you know the movie name is Edu Gold, it's like, you need Telugu lingo, you know, you need, uh, you need that kind of body language and my character is something like that, that I have to say dialogues in Pakka Telugu this lingo only. So, because uh, um, being a girl, being a heroine, uh, you know, I, I'll have a certain way of saying my dialogues. Uh, even maybe a naughty dialogue also, I might say in little polite way or, you know, in a feminine way. But he helped me in improving, uh, in extracting uh, yeah, the right diction from me. And uh, it really helped me because because when he is acting so well, I can just see and you know half of my work is done. So, right. so really since helpful. you didn't know the language, uh, did you actually rehearse beforehand yeah. or yeah yeah definitely for all, for all my movies I'll do a lot of rehearsal for my dialogues because if my dialogues are ready beforehand, I get a lot of confidence and I can deliver better during shot exactly. Yeah. And if I don't prepare my dialogues, then I'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> sweating. I'm like, oh God, what is this alien, alien? <laughs> because see, I'm comfortable with the language, but I know maybe the basic conversation language. Right. Dialogues will be something very different sometimes. Yeah. So, and sometimes there are long dialogues. Like in this movie, I have one dialogue, which is like almost seven, eight lines dialogue. So, if I have to say in one stretch, I mean... What not. is that dialogue? What are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> I shot maybe in March, April for okay. so it's like three, four months. I can't remember anything. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that uh, like some I'll take help of prompting also, honestly, because it's very difficult to remember seven, eight lines yeah. at a stretch. Yeah. So I'll take help of prompting. And he was very sweet uh, about this thing. He said, "No problem, Richard. Before every shot, uh, he'll come and he'll say." Don't worry, Richard, don't worry, because he can sense it that I, suppose there is a long dialogue, he can sense I am getting nervous or something. He will come, he will tell me, don't worry, we will manage as a team, you take help of prompting, no worry at all, Richard, no worry at all. I mean, you know, if you get this kind of director, what else you want, you know, yeah. so understanding. 
So I really want to thank him for being so so understanding throughout the film. Right. Yeah. So finally, what can the audience expect from E to Gold Hai and from what they see of you in the film? Okay, uh, I think um, Idu World Day, as you can see the trailer and all, it's a pakka out and out comedy film, and uh, and I'm we are so happy that it's releasing in Dasera time, which is a long holiday season, and people are all set for family entertainers. So I feel uh, um, this is the reason people will enjoy our movie more because it is a family film, comedy film, entertainer, and uh, Sunil is there, you know. So uh, I think. People will enjoy. Right. Before I let you go, uh, is comedy as a genre very easy for you to be part of, or does it come easy for it you? It comes or? easy for me because I'm a very funny person in my real life. <laughs> I'm always cracking jokes. I'm always laughing around, joking around. So for me, comedy comes naturally. Right. But it's not like that. I want to do only comedy, but I don't know why I'm getting offered only comedy films. I mean, I'm like, I want to ask someone. I mean. Apart from Chanda Mama Katlu, yeah. that was a little uh, serious role. But apart from that, I am being offered only comedy roles, and I am like, excuse me, okay, I am funny in real life, but it doesn't mean I want to do only and only comedy films. I hope I get some uh, college going or love story, you know, something uh, different. Right. So thank you, Richa. Finally, so uh, I am so glad to meet you, and I hope that you get the films that you actually want to be part of. <laughs> and wishing you all the luck for Eid Gold Day. Thank you so much, Brenda. <laughs>